Low libido girlfriend. Uh, all right. Hey, Bill, I've been with my current girlfriend for two years and we've had our ups and downs, ups and downs relationship wise. But even at the lowest points, we still get back together. Okay. Is there a reason you get back together? Is it because you actually love this girl or are you just lonely and don't want to go through the pain of a breakup? Uh, the problem is, at this point in the relationship, it seems like I'm the only one interested in sex. Maybe it's just a man thing or how long we've been dating, but she's in her 20s and I'm 31. And we have the sex life of a middle-aged married couple, once a month or once every three weeks at best. She generally responds to my advances with disinterest or, at worst, annoyance. Do you think there is any ways to change this or are we just not sexually compatible? Well, my gut tells me the relationship is over and it's been over. Um, oh, you said ups and downs. You didn't say that you broke up. I read into that. Um, yeah, you need to sit down and talk to her and just say, listen, uh, I just want to talk about her sex life. I feel like it's almost non-existent. And when I try to get something going with you, I feel like you're, uh, like I just completely turn you off, you know, did I do something? And if in general, if you're just not into me anymore, just let me know because I'm 31 and uh, I should probably try and find someone who finds me remotely attractive when you think so. It's kind of what I'm looking for in life. Somebody who actually gives a flying fuck that I'm shaking my dick in their face. Huh? See, like right there, look, you just look down. Just the mere mention of me shaking my cock in your face. No, sorry. Yeah, that's what I would do. You think there's any change of this or are we just not sexually compatible? Yeah, this is all like a, all relationship shit is communication. You have to sit down. For, when you want to communicate relationship, what I've learned, the best thing to do is sit down with yourself first. All right? Driving in the car, get all the yelling out. Scream at the windshield. Yeah? And what the fuck? I'm sitting there. I went over to your brother's house the other day. And what do I get? You know, just scream it. Get it all out. And then when you get all of that out, then you just do some self-analysis. And you try to break down the anger and be like, what am I really upset about? You know? What do I feel right now? I feel like I'm not being heard. I feel this. I feel that. And then what you, then you had to have this game plan. Okay, even if you got to make like a set list, like a fucking comedian, and you just write down what you're feeling and the points that you want to get out. Draw a smiley face at the end of it to remind yourself to not get angry because you're going to start the conversation. This works for both men and women. You're going to start the conversation. So the other person is caught off guard. So they didn't get a chance to scream at the windshield. So they might start screaming at you. So your point, your, your main thing is not to join in and have the whole thing escalate. You just want to be heard. All right? So if you, in an adult way, just tell them what you're feeling without insulting them, it's always good for the relationship, even if the relationship fucking comes to an end. Uh, you're just pressing fast forward through a bunch of pain. So there you go. So I would just sit down with her and just say, yeah, I just feel like I repulse you to the point that I'm, you know, I feel hesitant to even even try to make a move on you. What's the deal? You know, see how that works out. All right. Road head accident. Hey, Bill, I took my lady out to a nice steakhouse for our anniversary. We had an awesome night. The food was expensive, but fucking great. We picked out and after it was all over, we left. We then went. And seen a movie. <laughs> I don't know if that's a typo, sir, but I fucking, I know guys like you. We went out, we had all this meal, and we went out, we seen a movie. And had two hours to let our stomachs settle. I'm surprised you didn't fall asleep. I would have, if I had a giant steak dinner, I would have got the itis. Anyways, then after we left the theater, we locked eyes in the car and we immediately wanted to fuck Jesus, dude, you're killing it. Steak, dinner, movies. Now you're going to, you know, you got a woman who wants to jump on your dick. God bless you. America. Uh, so I threw the neon into drive and floored it towards home. 
However, she had the amazing idea to give me some roadhead before we got home. Being a dude, I had my dick out before she even got situated, of course. After a while of her doing this, she started to gag. Being a dude, I was thinking, oh, yeah, she can't even handle this dick. Jesus Christ, this guy's sparing no details. Sorry, ladies. Uh, despite the fact that she had never gagged before. Oh, sorry. I missed the, the self-deprecating tag there. He said, I was thinking she can't handle this dick, despite the fact she had never gagged before. Before I knew it. Oh, no. All right. If you're squeamish, people, just shut it off now. He goes, I felt a wet sensation on my balls. As I looked down, I noticed that she had thrown up all over my dick, balls, and general crotch area. <coughs> Sorry. Wow. Here's the bullshit. She was mad at me. What the fuck? She was so upset and embarrassed. That's what it is right there, sir. About about it that she hasn't come over in two weeks. Why is she pissed? She isn't the one that had the cleanest steak. Ah, all right, all right. Tell me what to do. Um... I got to tell you this. She's being really immature. She's embarrassed. She's embarrassed. And. She's not being mature about this. Where, I mean, it was a mutual thing. It's not like you grabbed her by the back of the head and just slammed her head down there. You know, she was all about it. In fact, if I remember, before I can get that nightmare visual out of my head, it was her idea, right? We want to fuck whoever. She had the amazing idea to give me some head. Ah, she's a trooper. You know, this is what I would do. Send her a card in the mail. All right? And just, just tell her that, you know, you miss her. I, you don't view her any differently or anything. And just, just just write something nice. I'd really like to uh, take you out for an ice cream. Even if you do throw it up all over my dick and balls later, I think it'd be kind of uh, soothing. You know, it is the summertime months, and that crotch area can get a little hot, so I wouldn't mind a little mint chocolate chip around the pubes there. All right. Leave, <laughs> leave out the last part. But... I don't Just send her a nice card. I wouldn't even bring up the incident. Just send her a nice card. Something cute. Nothing silly. Nothing fucking overly loving. Just something in the middle. You know what, sir? I think we actually found a new niche for Hallmark. They got to have one where there was something sexually weird happened. And the other person is embarrassed. And the other person d doesn't judge him and wants him back. You could have those cards. Let's see if I can come up with one here that actually rhymes. Uh, dear lady, you got a little shady. I still love you. Uh, I don't know. You puked on my dick and balls. I don't know how to fucking get yeah, somewhere in there. Uh, wrap ups. Okay. That's a podcast for this week, everybody. Uh, once again, I feel absolutely horrible that people actually came out to that, uh, to the fucking El Paso show. I don't know what happened. I don't know if you missed an email or what, but it seemed like there were enough people showed up that the ball got dropped somewhere. I announced it here in the podcast. Um, I don't know. Anyways, my apologies. Wrap ups. Okay. Now that the show's over, don't forget to support our sponsors. This is really important. This is how I make money on this thing and I don't have to charge anybody shit. Uh, once again, get started with a free 30 day trial of eVoice. eVoice gives you a toll free number. Don't free your local number so you can make business calls from anywhere and always sounds like you're at the office. Uh, right now, go to evoice.com. Enter the promo code Bill for your 30-day free trial. That's evoice.com, promo code Bill. Or go to the podcast page, billbird.com, and click on the evoice banner. Uh, support this podcast. Get an extended free trial of Hulu Plus when you go to the podcast page, billbird.com, and click the Hulu Plus banner or go to huluplus.com slash bill. That's huluplus.com slash bill. That's the podcast for this week. Uh, once again, my apologies to everybody who went down to the show in El Paso. I feel horrible about it. Everybody else, go fuck yourselves. Have a great week.
that's it. I'll talk to you later.